Hello, my name is Roger Wombolt, and I'm Senior Product Trainer with Corel Corporation. In this short tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at the Workspace tab of Corel Draw, and then look at some of the features that are available to help you ease the transition from Adobe Illustrator to Corel Draw. On the surface and at first glance, Corel Draw may seem like a fairly simple application to an Illustrator user. But you will soon realize that it has all the power and more and is able to go head to head with Adobe Illustrator. Here we're looking at the workspace tab of the welcome screen. You will notice that we have a number of different workspaces available. Now a workspace is a collection of tools, keyboard shortcuts, and toolbars arranged and saved in a specific layout. This layout is called a workspace. You can see that we have a light, X6 inspired, our default workspace, as well as a couple of specialty workspaces, including the Adobe Illustrator workspace. The X6 inspired workspace is almost identical to the CorelDRAW X6 default workspace. It is best suited for experienced users who are looking for a seamless transition to a modern yet familiar environment of X8. Now let's take a look at the Adobe Illustrator workspace. I'll switch to that now. You'll notice that we now have tool placement closer to that of Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to select this document and now we're going to take a look at the appearance. So from the edit menu I'm going to go down to options and I'll select appearance. On the right hand side you can see I can change my color. My current theme is light. Let me set this to dark and I'll click OK. The next thing I want to show you is under the Help menu. Product Help. And on the left hand side at the bottom, you'll see I have Reference. Within the Reference section, you can see Corel Draw for Adobe Illustrator users. When I drill down to this, we have a document on comparing terminology as well as comparing tools within the Adobe Illustrator workspace. I'm going to close this off. Yet another feature to make learning the application easier is the Hints Docker. Now a Docker is like a palette. Well, it's more like a dialog box that stays open on the screen. But this one is special. It has the information in it that changes depending on the tool that you have selected and it will guide you on how to use that tool. From the Help menu, I can go down and select Hints. Alternatively, from the Windows menu, down to Dockers, and I can select Hints in here. This will open up my Docker on the right hand side and as I say, depending on the tool that I have selected, the Hints Docker is going to change and it's going to tell me how to use that specific tool. And one more Docker that I want to point out. Again, underneath the Windows menu, I can go down to Color Palettes and select Color Palette Manager. Alternatively, under Dockers, I have Color Palette Manager here. CorelDRAW gives you the ability to not only import the Adobe Illustrator color palettes, but also the Photoshop color palettes. I'm going to click on this file. I'll go down to my thumb drive that I've inserted. I'm going to browse into my Adobe color palettes. I'll change my file type down to ACO. You'll see here we have Adobe Illustrator palettes as well as the Photoshop palettes. And I can select any one of these palettes and open them up. So, as you can see, if you're an Illustrator user, with very little effort, you can get a jump start on learning CorelDRAW and be productive right out of the gate. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you're looking for additional resources, head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com. You'll also find a number of regularly scheduled training events, Corel customer forums, as well as my book entitled Bring It Home with CorelDRAW, a guide to in-house graphic design, and the essentials of CorelDraw X8 from Lynda.com. Thanks for watching.